Hey everyone. <laughs> Doing a quick check-in to let you guys know that I'm still alive and kicking. Um, I'm on my way to the chiropractor's office right now and he's gonna snapple, crack, pop me into place <laughs> again. Um, it's getting better. My back is getting better. Um, I'm not feeling as much pain in my back as much, um, but when I try to sit up or stand up for more than an hour, I get very fatigued. And so, and I'm still dealing with some circulation issues in my right arm. So there's a nerve getting pinched in there and, but you know, there's progress, this is slow, and I feel like it's slow because I almost get this feeling like God just wants me to take a time out. And um, that leads me to my other reason for posting this, to let you guys know, you might have been wondering what's going on with, you know, Vimeo, the September readings, I'm sorry to say I am not feeling led to do those readings right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a three month love because I already did like the end of the year money um, forecast and I might, part of me is like, I don't know, am I going to do it like a three month love forecast for the remainder of the year? Um, I, I just feel like a monthly... September is just it's too late I mean if I did it late in the month you know at the beginning of the month a lot of people they're they're kind of persnickety they're like ah I want to hear about it before the month is here and then if you give a monthly reading in the middle of the month it's kind of half over so who cares you know what I'm saying so um what I want to say is that if you want a reading in September from me, then um, I am still doing private readings and I even do emergency readings where I will render the reading within 24 to 72 hours. And I am good to do those, okay, I can, I can read um, like I said, I'm getting better, and as of right now, I can sit up and stand up for about an hour, but then after that, I just get really fatigued. I feel tired, and, uh, but it will improve, I'm sure, as the days go on, and I can do more then. That's what you want, um, but as far as, like, bulk producing 12 hours for, 12 plus hours for, September, I just feel like spirit is not giving me the release to do it. Um, and in my downtime, I've been thinking a lot about things that I am feeling led to do right now, which is quite interesting. Um, and I wanted to share that with y'all. Maybe I will on another because this is uh, meant to be a short video, just a quick check in before I go to my appointment. But yeah, I was hoping to go live and um, hopefully that will happen. Maybe next week. Um, maybe next week I will feel well enough to go live and share with you some ideas that I've had in my downtime. Ideas about what I want to put out on my YouTube channel um, because I'm really, y'all know that I'm re-niching, I'm switching gears and I'm wanting to put out video content that I make one time and people will be watching indefinitely you know like over the next five to ten years those are the kind of videos I want to put on YouTube not these videos where you watch it one time and you never watch it again because it's so time sensitive for a limited time you know um, and I've had a lot of ideas especially with this injury that has occurred you know it, a lot of things have occurred to me in my downtime, my quiet time, like why is God allowing this? I've started studying the emotional body because I'm really trying to tap into is there a mind-body connection here? And I believe there is. Um, and I want to share those things with you that I've been learning. And also, um, 
narcissism some more stuff on narcissism had things come up with that and uh, I've been also impressed upon by um, another channel creator on here um, about masculine and feminine energy which oddly I think has come in it's been a timely message for me that ties into this back energy uh, back injury of me trying to really figure out um, how being too much in masculine energy is maybe creating this issue within my body and how I'm I'm trying to like tune more into my feminine energy what's natural for me as a woman as a woman whose energetic signature is predominantly feminine energy in her natal chart yeah I this is very unnatural all this masculine energy and I want to talk to you about that share the revelations with you that I've been getting and I do feel by the way that this channel um, the content that I'm feeling led to put out is more about women tapping into this feminine energy yeah there's gonna be information for men as well but um, I know a lot of my viewers are female and I feel like uh, particularly the American women um, we have so much pressure to um, tap into masculine energy that is perhaps not natural for us and it's not that we can't do it but it's just that it's hard on our bodies when we do and so um, anyway see I'm rambling once I get started I don't want to stop talking to you <laughs> believe me I'm anxious to get better and you know get back on my channel and I have a lot of ideas cooking and I want to talk to y'all about it in a live chat you know and so um, just continue praying for me thanks those of you who have been praying I am getting better but I do feel that, that the improvement has been kind of slow because God is trying to deal with me about other issues and it's almost been a forced timeout as one of my viewers uh, commented and so um, hopefully we'll talk again uh, next week um, thanks again for all the prayers I'm wishing you all the best as always, be blessed.